Welcome everyone, welcome back, I should say, since uh, 2019. We've had many things to celebrate and we always had ideas for our show, like last year was the 200th anniversary of Greece's in uh, independence, so 200 years of modern Greece last year. Unfortunately, we just took a precaution and just did a drive through festival. And uh, over the time of COVID, one of Greece's main uh, uh, composers, musical composers, passed away during COVID. And uh, his name was Mikis Theodorakis. So we are bringing back one of his classics uh, called, you all know it as Zorba the Greek. Uh, so that we are going to do in his honor and his memory. And uh, also we are doing a song to uh, commemorate the 100 years of, um, it's a sad situation, but Greeks were known to celebrate everything. We celebrate happy things and we even celebrate bad things. Because we believe that if you don't celebrate the bad things, you don't appreciate the good things. So um, something very sad happened in 1922 called the Pandian Genocide. And uh, the Pandian people used to be united with Greece, they're Greek people, um, but lived in mainland Turkey. Um, so to re remember and honor them, the 100 years, we have our first song, which is uh, commemorating how we uh, would someday get Constantinople back. And it's Constantinople while you're here at the Greek festival, right? <laughs> and, um, so, and then we'll close the show with uh, um, one of our unique dances from the island of Mytilini and from the city, the OG city of Smyrna, not Smyrna Cobb County, but the real Smyrna <laughs> in Turkey. Um, where the, the girls used to send messages to the Greek soldiers by dancing and making noises with finger symbols or wooden spoons. So it's a very unique show from the 1920s to the 1940s. So that's our, our time frame here. So we hope you enjoy it. And here we have with Eleftheria and Phoenix, our modern show. Yeah. 
That is a Greek tradition as well. Um, back in the old days, when you know musicians were not as common and not uh, very difficult to get, um, so the promise was if they were good dancers, the dancers were doing well because the band was playing really good music and everybody got in the mood, right? So people would throw ones at dancers that they were proud of. Oh, good job, good job throwing money. So who usually back in the old days? That uh, used to go to the band as an extra tip, so they could keep going and all this stuff. But uh, George uh, and the boys over here so generously allow us to keep this uh, funds so we can put it back into our costume preservation and our costume fund. So if you so feel um, inclined and proud of any of our dancers, think they're doing a great job, feel free to come down and show them some love. Make it rain. <laughs>
beautiful. We have a quick announcement while the girls get their finger symbols. We're going to have a quick announcement. Yes, very quick announcement. If someone has lost their phone, please go to admissions where you came in. They are they have your phone and they're waiting for you. If someone has lost their phone, we have it. Thank you. All right, all right. The last uh, the last of the girls dance. The girls will be dancing here with the finger symbols, our high school girls. And then the dance after that is called the Zimbekiko, which is kind of a freestyle dance. And if you notice in the flyer, it says Greek blues. That, my friends, is Greek blues. So we're going to close the night with the blues of our country um, from the 1940s. Again, like I said, the Greeks, we celebrate everything. World War II and Greek Civil War was back to back in, in the 1940s. So sad times, but we celebrate it anyway. So here we go with the young ladies. And right after the ladies, the gentlemen will dance as the Bekiko.
now here we come with the Greek blues with our band George Karras and the guys. Παναγιώτη με τη μαγιά σου Nicola Mega 